Hello there, I'm Russell Nash and welcome to Video Jug. I'm going to show you how to claw hammer. What it does is it colours a chord. You're not changing chords, but you're just using the harmony that's already there by pulling on and pulling off. And I'm going to start off with the D. The D is the triangle. Remember we use the root note of open D and everything else falls into that triangle shape. Now, we've already got the shape here, we're established. So listen carefully, we're going to put the thumb and the first finger on the G and the top E string, okay? Just pull. Tuck them in again. Now this is like clicking your fingers. It's like you're gonna ram the second finger into the palm of the hand. Okay, so let's try it again. Just, again. Now let's try it with a hammer. A hammer is literally what it says. You're literally using the fingers as hammers to hit the string and create a tone. So to begin with, we'll start off and then hammer on, but you need to pluck nice and hard so there's enough tone left over to create the sound once you've hammered on. So listen, again, and again we're pulling in so we create a nice loud tone here, enough strength for the hammer to make a real nice tone. So again, this takes time but you'll notice it will colour the chord, make you sound much more melodic. Now I'm using a simple picking rhythm here. The thumb's playing the G string, the first finger's playing on the B. For now it's just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Triplets, used loads in music. Listen to it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But the triplets played over the top. One, two, three, four, and... We're looking for the bass here now, a nice bass note to carry us into another chord. The middle finger came across to play the note of C here, it's a bass note. So what was an open D, the second finger comes across to play the root note of C. Let's just go between those two for now. And C, again and... adding another note now. It's getting complicated but just stick with it. You can keep going back over the film so you really get this. And use your ears more than anything else. And if it doesn't sound exactly the same, it doesn't matter. The main thing is that you get something that's melodic and in rhythm. So let's go. So remember the... And... And C... And C... B... Now you'll see what I'm doing is here, lifting off the middle finger. I'm still keeping the third finger here on the B string on fret three, but I'm sliding down from the C, second finger comes off, third finger comes in on the fifth string on fret two. Let's try again. So, one, two, three, and, and C, B, and C, and when I say C, I don't mean the chord, I mean the note, the root note, and, and, claw, claw, hammer, claw, hammer, claw, hammer, claw. So keep practicing this. Again, use your own ears. There are no rules in music. The only rule I'd say is feel it and keep in rhythm, keep in time and enjoy it. I'll see you next time on Video Jug.